What's up, Doe Chasers? How's, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm live right now, trying this out again to make sure you know everything is working. Uh, working on uh, finishing touches to our uh, crop repair course that we're going to be introducing tomorrow. Super excited about that. Putting in some OT, and I figure, you know, why not go live, see how everybody's doing, um, see if I can get, you know, some feedback, uh, you know, share some information. But yeah, this is live, so it's, it's not like it's directed on any particular information. However, um, you know, if it can get interesting, you know, I can definitely share some good information as well. Um, this is live session. If you have any, you know, questions, you want to say what's up, let me know who you are, where you're from. Um, but right now, I am working on Transcend Financial Academy. Uh, tomorrow... Our first course, how to remove derogatory information off your credit report, will be introduced. And you know, just chilling. So who's with me right now? Let me see if it can show up on my page. Hey Mario, how you doing today? Pretty sure that everybody's watching football right now. Wish I can watch my football game. My football game is um, Michigan versus Michigan State, and they had a weather delay, but you know they took it off the of TV, so I can't watch it anymore. Uh, glad that you're doing good, Mario. Jasmine, will I still get results if I forgot to put uh, Jasmine? I did not see that question. Let me see if I can get it popped up on my computer. So yeah, last week I tried to go live. And will I still get results if I forgot to count numbers on dispute letters? Ah, that's a good question. Will you still get results if you forgot to put account numbers on dispute letters? Um, all right, so I was streaming on my computer um, and I think that was the reason why my connection was going in and out. Hopefully that was the reason I did stop that streaming. Um, anyway, um, stop that streaming. Um, anyway, um, so Jasmine asks, will her dispute still be processed because she forgot the account numbers? Your dispute sh still should be processed uh, because there's multiple ways for them to locate the accounts. Um, especially, you know, if you put Capital One um, and it has a derogatory account that you don't agree with, you know, they're going to locate that Capital One account um, and put the dispute along with it, okay? Now, if you have, it basically depends on what the actual dispute was and if they can connect that with uh, the uh, the actual uh, furniture, okay? Um, but, you know, to minimize that, uh, that from happening, you definitely want to get, uh, make sure you input the account numbers so that doesn't happen again. But I think you'll be good. Um, because, you know, if you only have five accounts that are derogatory, they're going to locate those five accounts and connect the, the name of the furniture with the dispute. So I think that you should still be uh, on good ground. Um, I don't think anything bad should come out of that. Worst case scenario, um, you know, you can always give them a call. I don't have that number on me right now, but you can always give the credit bureau a call to make sure that they receive your disputes um, and to let, you know, to make sure that everything went through. I wouldn't, uh, you know, see a problem with that at all. Oh, Muriel, you're you're welcome. Um, you know, I definitely feel like I can do a better job of, you know, going live every once in a while, at least once a week, you know, to see what's going on, see what kind of questions or concerns you all may have. But I do have a question for you. Okay, so Transcend Financial Academy um, is going to be basically our... Uh, online platform where I'm going to teach you some of the things that I know uh, when it comes to credit repair, credit building, uh, improving your finances, creating a plan for your money, uh, restructuring your banking, uh, obtaining the dough chaser mentality, uh, business credit, entrepreneurship, all that good stuff, right? And our first course is going to be introduced this Sunday, right? And I need uh, you to help me out with 
a question in regards to the pricing, okay? I definitely want to make it affordable for everybody, but let me get a, a tally really quick. Um, do you think $97 for each course is affordable? And for those people who cannot afford the $97 uh, initial payment, do you think a uh, installment plan of $29 for four payments is reasonable? If that's reasonable, let me know, please, because... You know, I, I, I'm trying to, you know, get some information uh, before I share this with everybody. And I want to make sure that people are welcome, welcoming it uh, into their lives, okay? So $97 for uh, to learn how to remove derogatory information off your credit report. And if you can't afford the $97, a payment plan of $29 over four months. Do you think that's affordable? Do you think that's reasonable? Let me know, please. Let me know, let me know, let me know. So basically, um, what I'm saying is you can learn everything that I know in regards to fixing credit for as low as $29 over the next four months. And then you'll have access for 365 days to the, the course material. It's gonna be like 20, 30, up to 30 modules. Um, and plus you get dispute letters with that. Okay. $97 is just one payment. One payment of $97, you'll get a full year access to that course. Or you pay $29 over the next four months to satisfy, um, the actual plan and you get access to the course for 365 days as well. Right. So basically, it's either one payment of ninety seven dollars or four payments of twenty nine dollars access for the whole year to learning how to remove derogatory information off your credit report. We're talking about collections, charge offs, repossessions, judgments, uh, late payments, all that good stuff. Right. And you get the dispute letters. Um, a lot of the dispute letters that I actually use in the organization uh, to help a lot of people. Uh, remove information and then we're gonna have bonus material as well um, but yeah that for that particular course do you feel like that's reasonable because I'm thinking like you know there's a lot of information out there that you can find online okay a lot of free information um, but it's very generic um, not very descriptive um, and not really strategic, right? And then for the people who do offer the courses, they're charging five, they're, they're charging upwards five to a thousand dollars, uh, 500 to a thousand dollars for their information, right? And many a times their information is nowhere near the, the free information that I give out on our YouTube page, right? So just imagine the information that I give out on the YouTube page for free times 10, okay? And this is uh, in re revolving uh, around removing derogatory information off your credit report people who are interested in repairing their credit they're stuck they don't know what to do or they just need some guidance right um so that will be introduced this sunday um if any of you are interested in uh getting that information let me know and i will include that link uh so that you can get on our first to know list and tomorrow i'm actually going to offer early bird pricing uh where uh, you know, if you do take advantage of that, you get a good discount. How about that? Okay. I don't want to tell you already because, you know, I want to build the suspense a little bit, right? Uh, Antoine said it was reasonable. Mario said, I like learning because we were not taught this. So I am learning to share with young people I have at home, etc. I missed the rest of that, but I'm pretty sure it was good stuff. I'll definitely check it out. Oh, there we go. I just had to move it. Okay. Uh, like sharing knowledge. Okay, well, I appreciate that, Muriel. Let me see what other questions I missed, if any. I had a collection account charged off. What does that mean? Okay, so I don't know. I don't necessarily uh, know if the collection was charged off. Maybe the original account um, was put in its uh, collection department with the original account and the original account was charged off. Maybe that that's what happened. Um, are you talking about, um, are you talking about an account with uh, like a student loan? 
Mario. Let me see. Predator. Okay. Yeah. So uh, basically, okay. So they're either gonna write that off, um, sell the debt to a debt collector for pennies on the dollar, or uh, they're going to try to sue you. Okay. Uh, many of times, many times, um, they'll probably sell that to a debt collector um, and just take take that uh, tax benefit from the government. However, if you're able to, I would definitely try to reach out to them um, to try to negotiate something uh, to prevent uh, you either being pursued by a debt collector or being sued by the original creditor. That's always the best option. You know what I may do tomorrow? Tomorrow I may actually have another live session, but in that live session, um, I'm gonna make it more of a, uh, a master class, right? It's gonna be a free master class, and I'm gonna share um, some information uh, based off of the information that I've shared over the last few days. I'm gonna share it all in one particular uh, package. Um, I'm going to give the information away for free. It's going to be live, so I'm going to be able to answer some questions. Um, and then at the end of that, um, I will introduce um, Transcend Financial. And for those of you who want to take advantage of that, um, you'll be able to take advantage of enrolling in our course after I share all that information, okay? So it's going to start off with me sharing free information about how to deal with collections, uh, charge-offs, inquiries, all that good stuff. Um, information based off of information that I shared over the last uh, last week or so. Um, and then uh, from that information, I'll transition to, you know, basically say, hey, you know, this is free information. Um, however, this is what and why. If you want to learn how, um, I highly you know, suggest that you enroll in Transcend Financial, um, take advantage of our affordable pricing, and learn from me specifically on what you have to do to get results, okay? So as you know, like with, with everything, you know, nothing is guaranteed. However, um, the probability of you being successful is very high, okay? Um, been helping people over five years now, um, improve their finances and boost their credit scores and remove derogatory information off their credit report. So I'm kind of good at, you know, figuring out what needs to be done and implementing those strategies. Now, you know, we have some situations where, you know, nearly impossible to get removed because it's so accurate and they have the, the proof. However, um, looking at the strategies that we have, um, you know, the success factor for you in our program is very high, okay? Um, so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna go live again, uh, sharing that information. It may be a 15 to 30 minute live session. You know, this live session right now is 15 minutes. So it's gonna be at least 30 minutes tomorrow of me sharing good information and also introducing Transcend Financial, giving you all um, the opportunity to take advantage of our early bird special. Um, and also, you know, helping you um, as we move forward, okay? Uh, I feel real good about that. I think that's gonna be dope. And then, depending on how successful it is, I'll take Monday off. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Mondays are usually very chaotic in our office. Um, we get like a lot of clients during the end of the week um, and they call us the next business day just to make sure that they receive all the information. Um, and typically those phone calls last a very long time and everybody's on the phone. So I probably can take Tuesday off. How about that? Tuesday off. But yeah, if anyone knows the score to the Michigan Michigan State game, let me know because I'm missing it.
I'm really excited about Transcend Financial, by the way. Very excited about that. I've been my goal this year, you know, I wanted to do something uh by the end of the year. Um and actually Transcend Financial Academy was something that uh fourteen to seven Michigan. Appreciate that, Keith. Um is that Keith uh is that the same Keith who challenged me in uh Madden? <laughs> Okay, anyway, my goal was to introduce um, Trans uh, Transcend Financial Academy by the end of the year. I was actually going to call it something else. I was going to call it Floating Financial Freedom. Um, There's a story behind that. It's actually very deep, um, but I felt like, you know, though the story behind it was very significant, um, okay, just want to make sure because, you know, you can get this work too, all right? But anyway, I appreciate that, that score update. Thank you, Keith. Um, but yeah, the, the, even though the story behind um, the Academy uh, is deep, um, I didn't want to give someone else credit for what I was doing, so I didn't actually do it. Um, and I made it more relatable to what we were doing because our actual mission statement is to help people of our community transcend financially, right? And to actually create an Academy based around that, I think it's dope in my opinion. I don't know about, about you, but I think it's very dope. Um, and it helps the, the branding of everything as well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to do it. Um, it's going to be about, I know for sure we're going to have six courses introduced by the end of the year. Um, and then my goal is every month add a new course to the uh, program. Um, right now, every course will have, you know, one time payment or uh, a payment plan. However, once we get more courses added, I'm going to offer, you know, just a monthly subscription at a very affordable rate where you'll be able to take advantage of all the courses for just one small payment a month. Um, but until we get there, um, you know, the information does come at a, at a cost. And if you're willing to make an investment in yourself, um, you're going to get a lot of great information that's going to help you transcend financially. See how that went full circle? I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. <laughs> All right. Oh, and um, some more information. We're actually moving. Um, right now, our office is just under a thousand square feet, and our new office is going to be double the size. So, pretty uh, stoked about that. Um, and my lease actually starts November. I get my keys tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but next week. Um, so I'm looking, you know, to get moved over there. And hopefully we get everything moved over there and get you know started in the new building by December. Thank you, Mario. I appreciate that. Super excited about that. It's been a long time coming, um, but it's going fast. It's going by fast. Like when you start to build momentum on you know whatever it is that you want to achieve, you're gonna notice that things begin to move very quickly. When I started this company, um, you know, a few years ago. Uh, thank you, My Miracle 79. Um, truly blessed, truly blessed. But when I started this company um, back in 2013, um, it was real hard. It was real tough. I had like 10 to 15 clients for two years, right? And then we were like solely dependent on my income during that time. Um, so, you know, we were basically poverty. We were living in poverty. Um, and, you know, we had our struggles. We had a... I'm going to write a book about it because it's so funny. It's so funny, but it's like so powerful as well. And I feel like, you know, as you go through your struggles, you should be able to laugh at your situation because it's really not that serious. You know, things will get better as long as you work at it. Right. Um, anyway, um, we went through some we went through some shit, you know, just, to, you know, keep it real. Um, but, you know, those first few years, you know, year 2000. Uh, 13, 14, 15, super slow. And then 2016, it was like, poof, like everything blew up, you know? Uh, when I first moved into this uh, fixed location, um, it was, uh, I see the joy in your face, so happy for you and yours. I appreciate that, thank you. Um, when we first moved in here, it was myself, um, and I don't know if you know uh, Letitia, but she's uh, the office manager here. Um, it was myself and uh, her, and it was us for probably two months, and then I had to hire someone else. And then next thing you know, by the end of the year, I had uh, a, a staff of like seven, eight 
right? And, you know, having all these people in one uh, environment, you know, and me being the leader of the company, that was totally new to me, right? Um, so there were some things that I noticed about myself, uh, you know, leadership skills and all that good stuff that, you know, I noticed some flaws that I, you know, am still working on. Um, but, you know, just saying that success in such a short span of time, when actually it wasn't, because when you look at where we actually started off in the beginning in 2013, it seems like it was overnight, but it wasn't, right? So it was a long, it was a long struggle, but when the success came, it came fast and hard, right? And the thing about, you know, achieving success is getting it is one thing, okay? This is a life lesson. Obtaining success is one thing. However, managing success is totally different, right? I applaud, you know, the guys and the ladies who actually are able to be successful and actually maintain that success over years. Like, for example, LeBron James, the fact that he's been on top for so long, like, that is, uh, that's amazing. Because there are so many people who make it to the top um, and they settle or, uh, you know, they actually can't maintain it or they can't, uh, you know, continue to satisfy what got them there and they fall off because it's so hard, right? Um, like, for example, when Dirk made it to uh, Dirk uh, Novichik, whatever his name is, I can't say his name. Anyway, when he made it and when he won his championship, you know, he fell off. Like, he's still good, but he's not championship good. You know what I'm saying? There's good and then there's championship great, right? Um, and the fact that LeBron has made it there the last, I think it's six or seven years consecutively with like bums, like this, that's amazing to me, okay? Um, and that's just one thing that I want you all to realize is that you want to achieve the success, but you have to fix areas in your life that are going to help you maintain that success, right? Like fixing your credit, you know, that's basically a reflection of how well you pay your bills. You can get derogatory information removed off your credit report. However, if you're not paying your bills on time, if you don't have a plan in place, a budget for your finances so that you can get results, if you don't have that structure in place, if you don't have that strong foundation, as soon as you hit your first storm, you're falling off right? Because you don't have that structure in place. So you can achieve the success. However, if you're not paying your bills on time and you're still allowing accounts to go into collections and being charged off, you're not going to maintain that level of success, right? So always strive for success, but make sure that you put plans in place and structures in place for you to actually maintain it long term, okay? That's the challenge. And a lot of people don't really think about that. Um, in my opinion, um, but you know, going through it, I'm still going through it. I, I've learned that in my personal situation and I see it with people around me and also our clients, we serve thousands of people. And when I do have the ability to talk on the phone, there's a lot of terrible stories about people who, you know, Jason, my, my credit score was just at a 720, now it's at a 550, what happened? And it's because they don't have that structure in place, right? And I actually offered a free course called Black Lettuce um, that's been available for about a year and a half now. And just to look at how many people have not taken advantage of that information is mind boggling to me because they don't see the importance of having that structure in place. OK, if you're with me right now, do you understand how important it is to have a structure in place for your finances? Let me know if you do. If you don't. That is something that I will be, you know, continuing to educate you on, provide information on. And actually, our Black Letters course will be introduced in Transcend Financial Academy as well. And I just feel like that's the most important piece to everything because great credit cannot maintain itself. It's up to you. All right, I'm going to stop ranting. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, truly blessed to be in this position. Um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm, I pray every day that God continues to, you know, provide me with the wisdom and the knowledge to continue to move forward and also bring people around me that want to help me continue to take witness riches to another level. Um, and, you know, thank all my clients and people who are a part of our community. Thank you. 
um, because the fact that you allow me to share what I know and take that in and benefit from it, that lets me know that you know I'm doing something good. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow, Transcend Financial Academy will be introduced. Um, I, I'm going to go live again here on YouTube. Hopefully our connection is great. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I give you a lot of value. And I'm also going to introduce Transcend Financial Academy on the live session as well. Okay, let me see. What I just missed something. Muriel, I was wondering if it's normally if it normally takes two years providing you a person doing their very best. Two years for what, uh, Muriel? What are you? Uh, what exactly are you talking about? I was wondering if it is normally if it normally takes two years providing you a person. Okay, yeah, yeah. Please explain that for me so I can make sure I answer that correctly. Okay. I apologize, Muriel. I didn't really uh, understand uh, your, your statement or question. Um, okay. All right, I got you. Maybe I think it was delayed a little bit. That's probably what's going on. Okay, anyway, I want to thank you all for watching me. Um, really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload um, the Transcend uh, financial link. If any of you are interested in getting on our first to know list, as soon as I go live tomorrow and share this information, uh, you'll be notified um, so that you can uh, engage with me and also get the information that I want to share for free. Um, and then also, if you are someone who wants to take advantage of enrolling in Transcend Financial Academy. So this is what you need to understand. It's going to start off slow, but Transcend Financial Academy is going to blow up and you need to be a part of this because it's going to be great. Okay. This is going to be something that's going to change a lot of people's uh, future. Um, and I want to be able to change the dynamic of your future as well. So be a part of this greatness um, because it's going to start off slow, but we're going to go fast. All right. Um, and you want to tell your friends that you are a part of this as well. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. So I'm going to add that uh, right now. The video may slow down because, you know, my system is janky like that. I don't know what's going on with the system. Uh, let me see. All right. All right. It's added. Okay. Now let me leave this page before it slows down. All right. Credit repair. Um, credit repair. If you do everything right, I believe it can take you six months uh, to get where you want to be. Um, if your credit report is severe, it could take up to a year, okay? However, if you continue to allow derogatory information into your credit report, it's going to take you a while because now you have to work on that new derogatory information. Remember, credit uh, bureaus, uh, credit score models, they grade you off of recent activity. Activity that has occurred in the last 36 months has a huge negative impact on, or even positive impact on your credit, right? And if derogatory information is continuously being added to your credit report, you're going to see huge drops in your credit score. So the, the thing is that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to at least, uh, you know, respond to it with massive action. Okay. And sometimes it takes people a lot, uh, you know, longer than expected to fix the credit because of those issues. Right. Um, however, if you are someone where you can, uh, you know, build that structure with your finances and make sure that no more derogatory information hits your credit report six months to a year. Woo. You ever get a good itch on your nose? Six months to a year um, is definitely the expected time frame for you to see dramatic increases with your credit score and great results from a credit repair effort. Okay. Um, but in our service, it typically takes us six months uh, to help a client see a 100 point uh, credit score increase with each credit bureau. Um, and be mindful that they cannot allow any more derogatory information at the credit report. Um, but if they follow our advice and allow us to be great within six months, they see a 100 point credit score increase with each credit bureau. Okay. 
Um, if you are someone where you know you don't want to learn how to fix your credit and you would rather have someone do it on your behalf, feel free to comment on this video. Let me know and I can send you information about our done for you credit repair service. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I, I definitely want people to have a realistic time frame when it comes to fixing your credit. Um, when you when you work credit repair honestly and with integrity, six months to a year is definitely ideal. Okay, that's realistic. Um, I just got a good idea. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about janky credit repair. How about that? I just changed up the whole game. Janky credit repair is what we're talking about tomorrow during my live session. We're going to talk about three ways janky people uh, take advantage of you um, and uh, you know hurt you more than they help you and could possibly land you in jail. Okay, That's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. And I'm also going to introduce our Transcend Financial Academy um, as well. I want to thank you all for your time. I have to get back to work. I'm out. Y'all have a good one.